No significant off-field news. It was all about what happened on the field today for the Seattle Seahawks as they are set to take on the uh, New York Giants just a couple of days from now. Days to prepare, but uh, that was a that was a really good good practice. Now that you're through the week, how do you feel the players have just responded coming off uh, tough one on Monday? Yeah, we've moved. I mean, we're we're moved on. We're ready to go. All all eyes straight ahead. Looks like you're you're, you're pretty healthy with only Byron Byron ruled out. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll see. We got a couple guys questionable, so we'll see how that plays out in the next couple days. But uh, things are positive. Getting, getting Uchenna back in particular for the first time, what, what can he do for you? What can I do for you guys? Well, I mean, you guys, know, you guys know, I don't have to explain what Chenna brings to the team if he plays, so. Um, excited for him if, he gets, if he's out there, and um, if he's not, then we'll be as excited, I guess. Is there a question? Right now. Getting him out there. Uh, I know he's been working his tail off. He's been getting after it for a minute now, so. You know, he's been working kind of on the side the whole time, and now he's back with the guys, got the helmet on, doing all the reps. So uh, excited for him, excited for the opportunity. It's obviously not going to happen this week, but uh, if and when, he'll be ready to rock. How did I, I haven't thought about it through that lens. It's, uh, it's, I have a hard time thinking about multiple things. It's like, hey, you know, the Lions game is over. Let's do what we need to do with that game and let's move forward. Let's, again, 100,000% on the York this week. I'm really just not even thinking about next week. It's just, we're, we're in our little silo here. You know, it's not a lot of noise. It's pretty great. It's pretty insulated here. And uh, we're thinking about Sunday against the Giants. I just, it's not like a big, big picture thought behind it. Other people might be, but you know me, I'm just kind of straight ahead, no fair dodging that. And uh, he just keeps pushing forward and keeps getting better. So uh, he's got some personal things he's taking care of right now. But uh, he'll be back with us and we'll be rocking and rolling. I wouldn't say miss. I say, I mean, it's just an offer. Like, how do you not love Leo Williams, the guy who can do all the things? I mean, we, just the, but we have guys that can do his skill set. He's just, what he does is really, really elite. The guy's a great player. <laughs> do not. I'm, what does this game mean to you, the Giants, front you up? Uh, it's cool, because I know a lot of, obviously, guys on that sideline. Well, I guess less as time goes on, but uh, I don't know. It's another game, kind of, but I'm excited just to see some people. Join, how did you see the team respond this week in terms of, you know, forgetting the Lions yeah. and moving forward? How did you see the team respond? I thought it was a good response. I think, you know, we came in and said what it was. You know, it's a defining moment, you know, first time losing with, a new staff, and, you know, everybody's trying to figure out each other, and you don't really know until you face adversity. And so it was good to see it. Everybody was kind of committed to just doubling down and just continue to work and just work out the process. You know, results are going to vary. Um, it's such coach speak, but it's really just about kind of getting in, solving problems, and continuing. What, what was your coach like in handling the first loss of the season? He was good. Uh, I think he addressed, you know, it's, it's weird because it's a short week also, so we kind of just really attacked it right away. Um, then just had to move forward to New York, but you know, it was it was constructive. You know, things that need to be corrected. Um, everyone kind of owned up. You know, accountability was at a pretty high um, in the room, and so yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, just uh, ready to go. See you playing.
What was that like? I think he's the best player at that position for sure in the NFL. Um, he's just different, man. I, I had the privilege of getting drafted with him. You know, I consider him a friend. Um, yeah, he's he's big, he's strong, um, he's light on his feet, and so he's a problem. And so I think every team that facing these guys is circling 97 as a guy that could wreck a game. And so obviously we are <laughs> we have to address that and know who's on the field. But Dexter Lawrence is a beast, man. He's uh, he's a real deal. All right, so there you go. You saw the video and you heard from uh, the coach and you also heard from Julian Love. Now, you saw the favorable injury report and uh, and that means that Uchenna Nwosu, Jerome Baker, and Leonard Williams are all set to return. Make no bones about it. That, that gives you some meat. That gives you some muscle right there in the middle, in the belly of the Seahawks defense. And uh, for Nwosu, this will be the first time that he'll get to play this season. If you remember, he got injured in the uh, chop block in the uh, last preseason game. So, in fact, he hasn't played an NFL game since last October. And yeah, so, you know, he's chomping at the bit. He's ready to go. And I would say Leonard Williams, I talked to him, and uh, he said he's ready to go. And he couldn't think of a better team to come back um, after the, uh, you know, after his injury in the Miami game than the New York Giants, the team that he used to, he was traded for. So Williams is back, as I said. And the other one, I spoke with Jerome Baker, and Jerome Baker talked about he's looking forward to helping the team. And uh, he's been helping Tyrese Knight when uh who has filled in and he said you know what i like about this team is the depth it's the next man up and just how the players a collective stay together so why uh, and you heard from julian, julian love so you know this sets it up all nicely but the seahawks have to they have to convert on the field i mean you got the the middle of your defense is back as i said so put pressure on uh Daniel Jones and look for the Giants Malik Neighbors is out Neighbors is, is uh, their number one receiver and he's ruled out with the concussion so if you can get pressure on Jones is the other receivers are decent but not as good and what that can turn to for you as the Seahawks is those turnovers which they have been lacking and then on the offensive side of the ball uh, the, the, you know the Giants do have Dexter Lawrence you know, he is one of the best players in the league at his position. That's Julian Love saying that. Now, Lawrence is as good as Aiden Hutchison. There's no doubt about that. You just don't hear a lot about him. Hutchison obviously was for the Lions. And uh, so to do that, how do you negate that? You got to run the ball. Run it early, run it often. Now, the Giants defense gives up 118 yards, uh, rushing yards. So I think if you can get Ken Walker out there in the flats and then come on back with Zach Charbonnet, I think the Seahawks can have, you know, can have it their way on Sunday if they can establish that run. So, from the VMAC and Rented for the CascadiaSports.net report, I'm Asvita Mara Eric. Thanks for subscribing.